A huge thank you to everyone for contributing to our festival of partnerships. It's been fantastic to see so many brilliant examples of partnering across all our member charities. It's been informative, it's been insightful, it's above all been really inspiring. And because we've been doing this festival over the last few months, it's given us the opportunity to really delve into more details about partnering. Why partnerships are important, what charities get out of partnering, how to partner, looking at different kinds of partnerships, whether it's with industry or government or NIHR or charities partnering with other charities. And we've also had lots of opportunity to really think about what works well, what doesn't work so well and share learning across our members. So thank you all very much indeed for sharing all your examples of partnering. The festival might be over, but it's absolutely not the end of collaborating and we look forward to working with you all in future to keep collaborating together. So I think there are lots of benefits of partnering and collaboration. So I think a lot is around accelerating impact. How do we bring benefits to patients as, as soon as possible? <clears throat> so we might see a combination of funding resources or human expertise to address a particular challenge. It might be about amplifying the voice of a charity, possibly uh, involving a greater diversity of people, more inclusivity um, and increasing the profile of the charity. It may be around uh, mitigating risk, bringing access to resource and expertise and skill sets that charities don't have in-house and then of course it may be just about efficiency of operations to deliver better value for money because we know all our AMRC charities put a priority on getting best bang for the donor buck. It is so impactful in terms of increasing your reach, the different communities of scientists but also of people with lived experience who you can reach through partnership is immense. It also does help to make the resource go further so it's a great way of making what you want to see happen as part of your charity's objectives go forward. I think we all now understand that we can't any of us do it on our, on our own. These are big jobs and you need uh, skill sets um, from a whole range of disciplines and uh, sectors in order to make this work. So unless you have partnerships then you're really saying I can do this by myself and I don't believe that that's possible. We were both working on the same thing. We both organisations have committed to saving babies lives so it makes sense to do it together. So it's not driven by anything organisationally, it is purely about we're going to do that better. We do different bits of the equation better and you don't want charities contradicting each other, saying different things when you can come together and share those. I think there's something around duplicating effort as well um, and also the people, who, the people who can help us make a difference, their time. Um, it makes sense for them as well to um, have it kind of streamlined through one, one voice of the drug policy unit. Now for us, partnering with the sector, the medical research sector has helped inform and refine our strategic thinking and develop that whole thinking. And through this new strategy, as a result, we are now developing very strong, impactful, collaborative partnership with leading charities in the areas that are very closely aligned with LifeArc's healthcare themes, translational challenges.